Greetings, everyone. This is Paul Stevens, pastor of the Door Christian Fellowship here in El Paso, Texas. I want to talk to you today about two challenges that we're dealing with. We want to move forward and continue with what God has called us to do. But we realize that at the same time, we need to exercise caution and wisdom as far as how we are going to move forward in this era of coronavirus. We're certainly living in interesting times and They're probably the most interesting and challenging as far as the church is concerned in our lifetimes. And I want to take time to go over some of the more recent decisions that I've made concerning our response to the coronavirus and how we're going to proceed over the next few weeks. Some of these are common sense guidelines that I expect everyone will implement for your own safety and health. And some are protocols that we have to keep in place for the time being that will facilitate us to continue advancing God's will and purpose in our lives and his church, and at the same time, providing a healthy, safe environment for all of us. First of all, I know everyone is very excited about being able to gather together again. Our services have been very powerful forums of God working, and part of that is due to the fact that more people can come and physically gather. As you know, our sanctuary has limitations as far as the size of the crowd. We have the benefit of having a large, recently remodeled fellowship hall to further accommodate our church. Going forward, we're going to further limit the number of people in our main sanctuary. We still want everyone in our church to come who are willing and as long as it is safe for you and everyone you are gathering with. We're going to cap the number of people in the main sanctuary at 275. Then after that number is reached, everyone else will be guided into the fellowship hall. We will also be canceling all of our in-person events, concerts, outreaches, band and drama practices. Our Bible studies, youth group, serious men will continue via Zoom and we'll continue to have our scheduled prayer meetings. There's plenty of room for people to spread out and pray in both our sanctuary and our fellowship hall. And while we're excited to be able to meet together, we must do so safely. So we will need to follow a number of common sense health and safety guidelines These guidelines fall into a number of categories. First of all, common sense. Number one, if you're currently sick or showing symptoms or develop a fever, please don't come. Number two, if you have come in direct contact with COVID-19 recently, you must monitor yourself and you may want to get tested. And number three, if you're elderly or you have existing illnesses, Please recognize that a larger crowd may put you at greater risk and it may be wiser for you to join us online rather than in person. And these are safety precautions that we put in place uh, as a church. Sanitization of all of our facilities. uh, And we are practicing some of the CD recommendations uh, concerning crowd uh, regarding handshaking, hugging and standing too close. There are procedures also that you may want to implement for yourself. First of all, wearing a mask uh, is recommended for some. And if you choose to do so, uh, you are welcome to do so. Uh, We have social distancing uh, during periods of time we're fellowshipping and while we are seated that we want you to practice. We will, however, have certain requirements. Number one, we will require everyone to sanitize their hands upon entering our sanctuary And we will require everyone to allow us to take your temperature. Uh, This is because you may not know you're running a temperature uh, and we can exercise precautions uh, if that is the case. Uh, People have concerns about things like this and we're trying to reinforce the confidence that people have when they gather together with us. And if you have any objections to these things that are mandatory, then it may be wiser for you not to attend personally. Overall, some of you may not be comfortable attending at this time for a variety of reasons. In that case, we are very happy for the technology that we have. We can provide our services online uh, and we believe that God is going to continue to help us uh, and meet with us uh, and be glorified. I trust these uh, are helpful to you to give consideration to God bless all of you. Thank you for watching this uh, and we will update this periodically. God bless and thank you again very much.